my brothers and my sisters, the similar scenario someone says this in this hadith. Imagine between wife and the mother who comes first. Subhanallah. A mother is a great blessing to a child. And if he attains some age, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam make it his sunnah to wed, to marry, subhanallah. If he have what to use and marry, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam make it sunnah because he says, if you didn't marry and you have what to use and marry, you are not less a minna. He said he didn't belong to them, subhanallah. May Allah help us. Then, don't Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says in an hadith that let us understand between mother and wife that that is who comes first between two of them. Rasulullah says, Man faddala zawjata ala umihi Whoever attach much value to his wife than his mother. فَعَلَيْهِ اللَّعَنَةُ اللَّهِ وَالْمَلَائِكَةُ وَالنَّاسِ عَجِبْعِينَ that is, Allah has caused such person and angels the same as well as the humanity. Subhanallah. They have caused the person. Allah, the angels, and the humanity in general. The cause, their cause is on the person. Subhanallah. And la yaqabalu minu sorifan wala adi that is Allah will not accept any voluntary act of worship and at the same time he will not accept any obligatory act of worship from the such person illa an yatuba ilayhi except if the person repents to Allah and and then he now do good to the to his mother. as well as he now move on to seek her pleasure. Then by then Allah Azza wa Jalla will be pleased with the person and he will attain the pleasure of Allah if he do this.